I'm a 36-year-old man, married for four years, with no kids. My wife went to her friend's wedding last month and ever since she got back, she's been acting strange. My thoughts have been all over the place. I feel guilty for suspecting her without any real reason, but at the same time I don't want to ignore the red flags. I've been following this space for a long time, and my situation feels a lot like many of the cheating stories I've read here. Here's some context, my wife's friend was getting married in the countryside. I was invited as her plus one, but I couldn't go because of my work schedule. Also, I wasn't too excited about attending since I wasn't close to this friend. She's my wife's work friend, and I've only met her a couple of times at work parties. But my wife insisted that she couldn't miss the wedding, so she went without me. After she returned, she started acting distant and cold. I asked her what was wrong, and she just said it was work-related stress, and that she had a lot of work piled up because of the wedding. I understood that, but it's been over a month now, and she's still giving me the cold shoulder. We've only had sex twice during this time, and that was only because I initiated and insisted. Honestly, it felt like I was forcing her, so I stopped trying to be intimate. I've asked her many times if she wants to talk about what's bothering her, but she just won't open up. It's all so scary. I even snooped on her phone but didn't find anything suspicious. I'm just so frustrated with her gaslighting. She's not telling me anything, and she's not acting normal. God knows what's going on with her. I don't know how to handle this situation. I've tried everything, talking, giving her space, ignoring the issue, and even snooping on her phone and laptop. Has anyone else faced a situation like this? Any advice on how to deal with such passive-aggressive behavior? Thanks in advance. Update 1. Thanks for all the suggestions. Some of you mentioned that maybe she was angry with me for something and was acting passive-aggressive. I couldn't think of anything that would have upset her, and she's usually vocal about her feelings and doesn't give the silent treatment. I'd already confronted her several times before my first post. I wasn't keen on talking to her again, but I swallowed my pride and asked if she was mad at me for anything. She said no and asked why I was asking. I asked if she was upset that I didn't go to her friend's wedding because she's been acting weird since she got back. She said it wasn't about that and she was just tired and stressed from work. This went on for another couple of months. Her mood swings continued. Sometimes it felt like things were getting back to normal, but then it would all go back to square one. I talked to my friends about it, and they suggested it might just be a phase that would pass. So I started ignoring it and focused more on my work and well-being. Last week, I finally found out why she's been acting this way. It happened at her office's annual function. I've attended it every year, but this year, she was reluctant to take me. The event usually happens a week before Thanksgiving. At the start of November, I asked her several times if we got the invitation, but she said no. God knows what her plan was. Just a couple of days before the event, she told me about the venue and dress code. When I saw the email, it had come weeks ago. She claimed she missed it. Anyway, she wasn't enthusiastic about attending, and was looking for ways to skip the function. Her hesitance made me suspicious, so I insisted we go. The party was going well, and everyone was normal with me, no red flags. But my wife was too guarded. She wasn't enjoying herself and didn't leave me alone with anyone, which was unusual. Normally, she uses these events to network with senior officials while I chat with her colleagues. But this time, she stuck by my side the entire night. The friend whose wedding I mentioned earlier also showed up with her husband. I spoke to them and apologized for missing the wedding. They were cool about it, and everything seemed normal. As the party went on, the friend's husband got drunk and spilled the beans. He said, Oh man, you should have been at our wedding. Your wife looked amazing and was twerking like a mermaid. My friends went crazy for her and my best man still asks for her number. He had such a good time with her. Before he could say more, his wife pulled him away, 
saying he was too drunk and didn't know what he was talking about. I might have let it go if Brenda, my wife, hadn't been acting so strange since the wedding. Even while the husband was talking, she kept trying to change the subject. Finally, when he wouldn't stop, she called her friend over and dragged her husband away. If that wasn't a red flag, I don't know what is. Not just me, but other colleagues and their spouses who were part of the conversation seemed to understand what was going on. They were smirking and rolling their eyes at each other. I excused myself and stepped aside, feeling completely embarrassed. Shortly after, I saw Brenda's friend leaving the party with her husband, who was almost passed out. Brenda came over to me, acting normal. I gave her a look, asking her to explain what just happened. She brushed it off, saying, Did you see how smashed he was? Do you really think he was in his right mind to tell the truth? She continued to lie and manipulate the situation. She got drunk too, though I don't know if she was actually drunk or just pretending to avoid the conversation. I waited until the next day. She tried avoiding me, but I couldn't take her tantrums anymore. I told her that I felt she had cheated at her friend's wedding, and then instead of lying about it, she should come clean and confess. I grabbed her phone and she tried to snatch it back, but I managed to open her conversation with her friend. Sure enough, there were messages where she was scolding her friend's husband for spilling the truth. I'm sure she would have changed her password that day, but I caught her off guard. Even after this, she kept lying, saying the friend's husband was just drunk. After hours of yelling and playing the victim, she finally broke down. She admitted it was a one-time thing, saying she was so drunk that when the groomsmen made a move, she couldn't control herself. That made me so angry I punched the table and hurt myself. I was furious, not just because she cheated, but because she had been gaslighting me the whole time. She said her guilt was why she was acting so distant. If it was guilt, she should have been trying to strengthen our relationship, not avoid me. I couldn't stand to look at her anymore. I grabbed my phone and iPad and left the house. She didn't call or text me, but two days later, she sent a message asking where I was, when I'd be home, and how long it would take for me to calm down. She apologized, but it felt like she was just trying to guilt trip me. I've been staying with a friend since that day, and the thought of going back to her makes me sick. I'm not sure what I'll do next, but right now, I'm in a bad place mentally. Update 2. I decided to divorce her, because I found out even more. Here's what happened since my last post. I stayed with my friend for a few more days. Brenda kept texting and calling, asking me to come home, but I didn't respond. To be honest, I didn't know what to do next. My friend suggested I talk to that friend's husband who spilled the beans. I found him on social media and sent him a message, asking to meet up. At first he tried to cover up, apologizing for the misunderstanding and saying he was drunk, so I shouldn't take him seriously. I told him Brenda had already confessed to cheating, and I really needed to talk to him. I asked him not to tell his wife or Brenda about our conversation. He agreed. When we met, I asked him for details about what happened at the wedding. At first he was reluctant, but when he saw how desperate I was, he told me everything. It turns out that my wife didn't just cheat on me once, but multiple times over the two days of the wedding. It wasn't just a heat-of-the-moment thing. She was seen with the groomsmen the entire time, hanging out, dancing, flirting. They both disappeared from most of the wedding events and were holed up in their hotel room. Their closeness was so obvious that people at the wedding thought they were a couple. I asked if it was true that his friend was still asking for Brenda's number. He said yes, and that his friend was hitting on her hard. When my wife didn't give him her number, he insisted she take his and call him whenever she was free. That friend wasn't lying about it, even now. I'm devastated, to say the least. This is the person I trusted with my life. I blocked her everywhere and filed for divorce. I haven't spoken to her in the last 15 days, and I have no desire to see her again. She's tried contacting me through her colleagues, but I've avoided every one of them. I feel like I've been robbed and thrown away. All my love and feelings are in the trash now, but I'll survive this, and I'll move on.